What's happening boys and girls and welcome back to another PvP challenge. Today we're going to be taking on the skilling boss Winter Todd. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to grab ourselves as many Winter Todd games as we want within two hours. Then the loot we get from Winter Todd such as the ores, the logs, the food, all that sort of stuff. We can then go ahead anywhere in the world and uh, go and smith whatever we got in terms of ores, make bows uh, from the logs and we can go and make ourselves all the food we got as well so go and cook that up um it's going to be the normal rules where we're not allowed to use our bank to like grab a teleport or anything so if i want to go over to falador for some reason i've got to get there by using the money can't go into my bank and then just take like a, a telly and get there that way Obviously, while doing Winter Todd, we're going to need all of this gear so that we can actually get the games completed. So we are going to be allowed to go into our bank to grab wines at the start of every game. Obviously, we've got the hammer, the knife, and the full set as well, along with the dragon axe. None of this can be used outside of Winter Todd, so this is the only time we're allowed to use any of that. As soon as we leave Winter Todd, it all has to be banked, and we can't uh, use it in the world. So yeah, two hours. We get to do Winter Todd for as long as we want, as many games as you want within those two hours, and then you need to leave enough time at the end to make your resources in into weapons and food um, as always guys there is going to be a playlist up in the top right corner this will be episode 13 and 14 going into the playlist remember Rag will be uploading an episode on his channel at the exact same time as this so you can click on his video down in the description after you've finished watching this or just click the playlist and it will take you through all of the episodes you've missed and it will have Rag's episode in there as well Rag, are you ready for this mate i am i really look forward to being snowy boys for the next hours man yeah it's gonna be good it's gonna be good and you know what i think i've got more winter todd technique than you do i feel i feel like i've got you here dude i've had this cape for like two years now so you definitely have the edge here three two one go oh well oh. Was... Oh. <laughs> our timing's never been off we might have forgot tinder boxes <laughs> so uh yeah those of you who are going to roast us, I'm sure some of you have already roasted us. Don't delete your comment. If you roasted us saying you don't have Tinder boxes, don't delete your comment. Just follow it up with, told you, and I'll take it. We're 11 seconds in. Boom. Here we go. Okay, so the timer is about to start for Winter Tot, so I'm going to start the timer on my clock. I don't know why everyone's specking. I thought that didn't matter. I think we got to do this real quick in the beginning, right, and get that instant 25 points. Okay, great. Then we got to stand in the corner... So we get hit a lot less often. So I want to fletch them because I think that gives the maximum amount of points. And I'm going to fletch them in the corner as well. So those big snowy blobs don't hit me. First game is about to be complete. And we get that crate. I'm going to get like five or so before I actually open them. You know, build the suspense a little bit since they come so fast. So uh, not going to open it just yet. Not even going to bank. Honestly, it looks like it's better when you have more inventory spaces open. Because you can, you know, cut more and fletch more in one go. So uh, yeah, I'm just not going to bank yet. I'm going to eat to full and just hold out till next game. And we're stood in the right place, so we can't get done by the snow. This is going too well, boys. We've got this. Surely the RNG can't keep up for Kins. Honestly, the stuff he's been getting recently, disgusting. And we are definitely going to go ahead and Fletch as well. White Fletch. More points. Let's have a look. What are we going to get in the first crate? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that is what you want to see, boys. That is what you want to see. 11 sharks and 11 tuners. I mean, obviously, we'll probably just end up buying more sharks from Canifus with the coins we get from Wintertod, but still nice to save ourselves the money. So 1k point game. 3% left. What are we going to get here? I think it's best to open the crates one by one because I'll be able to start forming an idea of what I want to do that way. Um, so I think it's best to do it that way. Um, let's have a look. What are we going to grab? 1%. Boom. Come on, something good. Oh my god, we got Runite Ore, Myth Ore. Oh shit, that's really good. We're going to try and go for a Rune Crossbow. That's what I'm going to do. Um, me and Rag had a rule before that we'd say that if you got the supplies to make something, you can just trade them in at the GE. So if I have a U stock, Crossbow String, Runite Ore, everything that would make up a rune crossbow if i have that all in my inventory then i can go ahead and trade it in at the ge it's just so we're not restricted by our levels we can literally create everything crate number three what are we gonna get nothing too useful there to be honest so this is gonna be crate number three we're 20 minutes in what are we gonna get here here we go oh for fuck's two snapdragons and some swordies. Again, 
if we don't get enough money together, the Saudis will come in helpful, but I think we're going to make enough money to just buy the sharks we need. Okay, so the goal for each game is 750 points because you get two rolls and then a 50% chance on a third roll. So as long as we get 7050, I'm totally okay with that and, you know, smooth sailing from there. And it's pretty crazy because I'm looking at the loots right now and it's a pretty big array of stuff. So the final fight should be pretty vast and different between the two of us. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Okay, this guy's calling me out. He's saying, go Link. Well, get hard on. We're going to prove you wrong. And Rog is going to take home the W. You got this, Link? No, he doesn't. Well, I really messed up this game. I forgot to bank. <laughs> I'm not going to get the 750 points. Crap. 11 HP. I think if I just chill here, I still get the crate though, right? Okay, so that's one bad game. Mistakes were made. Lessons were learned. Won't make that mistake again. So I'm trying to think of a solid game plan right now. And obviously, I don't have any materials yet. But I think I'm going to do about an hour and a half of Winter Tot. Of course, this all depends on what I get from the crates. But I think 30 minutes is plenty of time to do everything I possibly can do with all the loot that I get. All right, the game is about to end. So we're going to book it and open up the five that we currently have just so we can, you know, make it back by next game because we only have a minute and 15 seconds. So let's quickly run in the bank, open everything up. I was going to really like add a lot of suspense to it, but I realized that I really can't unless I want to miss a game. So let's do this really quick, guys. All right, five of uh, lobsters. Okay, all right, that's not bad. That's not bad. Ooh, sharks. That could be a necklace of some sort. Amulet of defense, I think um can't do much with that one coal that's you know ore bars stuff like that and more seeds okay all right that's you know not too bad definitely was expecting a little better but um let's crack to the next five and hopefully they are much better what's happening b's and g's and welcome back to another progress video today we're starting the episode with 74 fletching here we go boys another one coming in Irrit seeds, maple logs, and quams. No, I don't need any of that. So another game complete. What are we going to get? Uncut rubies. Okay, sellable and mahogany logs. Oh, God. I need some ores. Where are the ores at? Here we go, boys. Holding out for those U logs so that we can make a, uh, a rune crossbow. So hopefully we can get some. Ooh, diamonds and addy ore. Okay, not bad at all. Addy ore, that's going to come in useful when we uh, want to make something out of addy. Very, very nice. Addy or that's going to come in useful when we need to make something out of Addy. What is wrong with me? And as always, guys, after I roast myself, think about dropping a subscribe if you're enjoying the series and you want to keep up to date with it. It means so much to me when you drop a sub, guys. I'm trying to hit 60k before Roomfest, so if you feel like uh, I deserve your sub, drop it down now. It really takes one second to do and it means the world to me. Thanks, guys. Here we go, guys. Another crate coming in. We really need the U-logs to make a rune crossbow. Come on. No. We got some GP, though. 2.5k, which will come in handy for when we want to buy some uh, some things here and there. And the... Uh, no. 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 U-logs, please. Good news, guys. It is time for the next five. Let's spank that to get rid of it quickly. Here we go. Five supply crates. Let's get that Phoenix pet. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Okay, coins, awesome. That's what I wanted. So now I can buy some stuff. More coins, U logs. Um, okay, more coal. That's always good. So that's probably enough coal to actually use all the myth as well. So that's good. More raw food. I think that's enough sharks for a full inventory. If not, really, really close. And wow. Okay, so a lot of coins this time around. That's there's definitely a lot of upsides to that because we can buy from shops. Uh, so yeah, on to the next batch and hopefully we can get some, you know, higher ore or something. That'd be pretty cool. We do have some coins now, which gives us some more wiggle room, which is nice. All right, come on, you logs, you logs, you logs, please. More out of your... Oh, I just want the you logs, please. Come on, we just need the you logs. That's all I need and then I can leave here, to be honest. Come on. Oh, Oh, boys. Oh, yes. This is huge news. I might leave. I might leave. I'm going to, I might miss this game out. I'm just going to work it out, see what I want to do. This is huge. Okay, so this is the first thing I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm going to make the stock. Um, let's make sure, yeah, the crossbow stock. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and sell off all of this except one of these diamonds. And I'm going to go ahead and make myself a power army. Uh, we need to go to the Mage's Bank to buy a cosmic talisman, a cosmic rune even. Um, it's probably best to telly out of here. Where are we going to telly to? I sort of want to go to Keldorim first. But that's probably not going to be the easiest one to get to. Mm. 
Right, I'm going to go ahead and teleport to Pest Control because we can go to Port Sarim, buy the raw beef that we need to make the crossbow string or the sinew and then the crossbow string. So that's the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do. And then I'm going to work out where I'm going to go from there because there's quite a few things we need to go ahead and get done. I need to make a little bit of money. So uh, obviously we can't make money outside of Winter Todd. So I'm going to go sell these things um, so that we can maybe, I think I need about 10k to be honest. Since we're at the halfway point and I don't have the greatest of items in the crates, I figured I'm going to open up each one at the end of every game simply because every item in the crate could completely change my game plan going forward. So I'm going to open them one by one at this point and uh, see what I get. Uh, more coins, which is always good, but I'm looking for ores and stuff. That's what I really want. Ores, come on. All right, Jagex, hit me with that Addy or RNG. Ooh, rubies. I think I can make some stuff with that. Strength ammo, possibly? You know what? Not Addy Ore, but I'll take it. I'll certainly take that. All right, I've decided that I'm going to start making some armor and weapons at this point. I'm going to get this last chest. Going to open it up, see what we get. Chest, I mean crate. What am I talking about? I'm not at Barrows here. I'm not doing clue scrolls. I'm at Wintertop. This is crates. Open this baby up. You logs. Crap. All right, so I just took out everything that I need, right? So I banked everything that I just didn't need, like the seeds, the low-level fish and everything like that, the dynamite, stuff that I know for a fact I would not use. This is all the usable things or stuff that I could potentially find a use for. Now, I have a solid game plan with this stuff, right? But the first thing we're going to do is go get a ball of wool. Now we can't, of course, make it ourselves. We gotta go to our shop and buy it. But luckily, right in Lovakenge and Hosidius, there is a shop that sells balls of wool. So let's use our coins, buy one. We can get a chisel as well and make ourselves. Oh, I should probably unnote that. Ah, there'll be a bank over there. Um, and we're gonna try to make ourselves a strength ammo. We can also buy some cosmic rooms from the Archaeus house. So get that strength ammo out of the way and uh, start ourselves with a nice necklace. Some fashion scape, not even fashion. It's a pretty ugly necklace. Trade with this man. Yep, yeah, raw beef. There we go. Cool. Then uh, I think there's a range just up here. I should have brought my fish. I could have sold some of that here. Um, if we've got some time at the end, maybe I'll come back because I do want to buy some broad bolts. I want to buy. Oh, there's so much to buy. Honestly, go make that into some sinew, and then we can spin that on a spinning wheel into crossbow string. Cool. We're gonna go visit Ava next and buy ourselves a device. Now I know we need to trade with her first because we need to buy the steel arrows. She only sells 10 at a time. Fuck, we're gonna have to hop. Here we go, we just need to buy five more. Leaves us with 4K, oh God. And we got paid for this as well. I think it costs a K, doesn't it? It's something like that. Um, not, yeah, 1K as well. Okay, well we got our accumulator, that's quite nice. Spent a lot of money on that, actually, compared to, like, the total money we have. Hopefully, these things can sell for quite a bit. We need about 6k for what I want to buy. I want to buy some uh, green dehyde at the Champions Guild as well. So, hopefully, this sells. So, as I was walking by a Cosmic Rune, right? They don't even sell Cosmic Runes. Are you kidding me? I can go to the Wildy and get one, though. So, that's not too much of an issue. But I was thinking of a Magic Rune. The thing is, so, so 195, 194 coins, um, it's a lot of money. I can get about 76 deaths with that, but that's not factoring in the fact that the price is going to go up every time I buy it. So, I mean, it's a possibility, but I think melee might be better. I'm actually thinking about telling to the Blast Furnace and buying ores there. I think they actually sell Addy Ore. I have some coal. I have 15k to spend. So there's potential, and I'm going to see if that's a possibility. If not, I know they sell Myth. Because I don't really know the shops, to be completely honest with you. Uh, ball of wool. Awesome. There we go. So now we just need that cosmic rune. But before we actually go and do that, let's teleport to Blast Furnace and see your situation there. Uh, where the heck is Blast Furnace? It's in alphabetical order. Right on top, Rarg. Come on. Use your damn head. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, they don't. Fuck. No, no Addy Ore. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. Let's think about this for a second. So the good news is, is that we can, in fact, buy a gold ore to make the strength ammo. We can, in fact, buy some coal and mithril ore. Or mithril and coal. I did that in the reverse order. I don't know why. Um, so let's definitely just buy some. Can't hurt, right? Okay, so we're going to buy a last inventory of coal. And the reason why I'm noting everything is because I have stuff in the bank. And, you know, I don't want to get lost in there. So just to show the viewers and for myself, what I'll do is I'll just bank it and then note it. I mean, for coal, I don't have any stacks in there. But a lot of the other stuff I do. 20 mithril ore, 61 coal. Uh, let's home teleport out of here. Go to Alcrid and smith everything up we gotta get some molds and everything you can buy it from the shop with ease i think 20 mithril ore and 61 coal is plenty to make some myth armor and some myth weaponry 
Okay, time to craft the ruby amulet. I won't have the cosmic rune yet, so let's throw that in there, put the bar in there, make the ruby amulet unstrung. Then we take the ball of wool, attach it, and boom, there's our ruby amulet. So we just need to enchant that bad boy, but that shouldn't be too bad, like I said before. Um, but while we're here, we might as well make all of our mithril bars. And just so we can make all that mithril armor I was talking about. This method is pretty much hoping that, you know, Link doesn't go magic. If he goes magic, we're pretty much fucked. Okay, I've just had a look, and Harquin will buy these cut for really good money. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy myself a chisel. I'm pretty sure there's a chisel in the general store. If not, I think there might be one upstairs up there. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But I think there will be a chisel over here. Almost 100% sure. So I'm not going to bother trying to go up there. Buy myself a chisel. Um, we'll unnote these. And then uh, we'll go ahead. And we should actually have quite a decent amount of money. Uh, chisel. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's go and unnote these gems. And go ahead and cut all of them. I've got to remember not to sell all the diamonds. Because I do need one for the uh, amulet of power. Let's just... So it looks like we're going to get about 700 coins each for these. And we'll get ourselves 1.4k for the diamond. Uh, obviously we need one of them so we can't sell them both. But uh, that's really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, send this over. Right, let's trade here. Okay. Let's sell one. Yeah, 700. How much are we getting for a second one? 670. That is all we're going to be selling to him. So we end up with 7.2k there. We're also going to go ahead and sell these off. Because I'm not going to need them. There's there's no there's no reason. If I'm getting green dehyde, I really don't need uh, the ores. All we need is the uh, obviously the runite ore. But we do have to go and buy some coal as well. So we'll probably head on over to Keldegrim. Is it Keldegrim? I can't remember what it's called. Um, and buy ourselves some ores there. You know, I just remembered that we can actually buy green dehyde from shops. Oh god, and the fact that I already have mithril bars in here is really stressing me out. But green dehyde is on the list. I can buy that. I could fletch these, sell them to the shop for some coins. I can go all the way to West Ardoon and sell them for a lot more expensive than a normal general store. And uh, maybe get some green dehyde. Just the top, maybe. I'll keep mithril eggs, but, you know, I'll get green dehyde top. So that's the last of the mythal bars, right? But I actually had a huge think about my whole game plan. And I think what I'm going to do is, right? So I can get a bone crossbow and bone bolts really cheap. That weapon is very cheap and it is so powerful. And I can get studded if I can't afford green dehyde. And I can make a mithril helm, mithril shield, studded top bottom if I need to. I can scratch the strength dammy plan, right? These are just coming to me now. And I can just use a range method. That might be my best bet. So here's the plan. We're going to fletch the 50 longbows on strong. Just sell them to the general store. Go buy a candle really quick. Go buy ourselves a bone crossbow. And then we're going to cook our food and buy some studded. And that is going to be the timer, guys. That is how we're going to finish it off. Oh, and we're going to smith a mithril helm and a mithril shield. Mithril kite shield. For the extra little defense bonus in case he goes melee. If he goes magic, we just take it off. Simple as that. I just thought I could also make a U shield, might as well, because that's just going to help with the range. I really hope Rag hasn't gone for melee. This is where the bulk of the money is going to go. Value both of these, yeah, that is. this is the bulk of the money here. Um, I'll grab myself a coif as well. That is going to be everything we need from there. Let's have a look at how we look. We're coming together, guys. We are coming together. I need to work out a body. I don't know what I'm going to do for the body. It's going to cost 10k to get them from Oziac, and I'm not going to do that. I don't want to spend 10k. I don't think I can even make 10k. So I'm just going to hit up my boy Horvik, and he's going to sell us a studded body. And that should do for now. Horvik, big man. How much is... 850? That is daylight fucking robbery. You should be ashamed of yourself. So we're going off to the Mage's Bank, so I am actually just going to go ahead and bank all of this. This clip is more for me, so I can remember exactly how much I had, so I can just look at this clip, take it all out. But yeah, we're going to head on over and get ourselves this Amulet of Power. Pretty cheap here. One Cosmic Rune, yeah, and ten Earth Runes, and that is going to be enough for the Diamond Enchant. Beautiful. Now we just got to go ahead and get ourselves our ores together. I've also got to get an amulet mold. Fuck. Right, so I'm going to use the Ardi Telly back here, and we can buy a ball of wool. Oh, go on, mate. We can buy a ball of wool in Ardi, which is really nice. Um, so that's where we're going to get our ball of wool from. But the amulet mold, I think I'm going to have to go to Alcarid. I'm such an idiot. I just sold all my bows to the shop, but I forgot to record it. I thought I clicked it, but I didn't. So I think I have enough time to do everything I want. So I'm just going to walk back to show you guys what I did real quick. 
Um, I don't want anyone to think I'm cheating. Look, 48 bows, just sold to auto one world. All right, this guy's gonna rob me 1K for a freaking candle. You hate to see it, bro, but it is what it is. It's absolutely needed, so yeah. I guess I could have just used the fire making cape, but you know, I, I would have felt really grimy if I did that. So I just decided not to, so I banked it. Right, mate, trade me your ball of wool, beautiful. Pretty sure if we trade with this bloke, you can give us an amulet mold, necklace mold, ring mold, amulet mold, beautiful. There we go, cool, 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 cool. Right, off to Varrock and we will complete this. Okay, so I'm gonna need eight coal for the rune bar. And then we're gonna need one gold ore. Oh my god, we've got 732 coins. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves the amulet. Bam. There, there. And um, the runite ore, I can't obviously make because I don't have the smithing level for it. So me and Rog agreed, as long as you have the raw materials, you can just go to the GE. And as long as you've got the raw materials in your inventory, you can just go ahead and buy what you need to. 10 of those. And let's bang that on beautiful stuff amulet of power six and everything attack and defense wise really really nice upgrade i'm actually going to go ahead and buy some unfinished broad bolts as well oh my god we got it we got to sell some stuff i'm gonna have to sell some of the stuff that we got yeah just gonna buy 12 feathers i think that's all we're gonna need we've got the avers so we shouldn't need to uh be too worried about uh losing ammo go ahead and spin this into crossbow string which one's crossbow string crossbow string there we go sinew bang beautiful okay cool so we've got everything we need for the rune crossy now now hopefully this guy buys these off us for a decent amount i know he's i know he's got them like yeah he has them okay all right not bad 48 coins how much they're going down by 47 Okay, we can just, uh, yeah, go ahead and sell all those. 491 coins. Okay, so now we're going to go to Berthorpe. Oh, we might be able to get a few more um, broad arrows than or broad bolts than I thought I could. I'm not 100% sure how much they cost. I think they might be 55 each, actually. And obviously, we've got uh, to uh, use as many feathers as we got as well because they're not made yet. So uh, maybe 17 is about right, actually. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some potato and cheeses. We'll go from there. Now, I'm pretty sure a bone crossbow is like 3K, right? 2k even better and a pack is 350 and that comes in 100 right okay awesome 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 so let's buy 300 is definitely enough it has to be enough that's okay okay so now we need to get some studded and maybe some green dehyde van braces i think that's what i'm gonna go for and then of course smith these okay i'm feeling all right all right let's see if i have enough to buy some chaps where is he scavo scavo 2.5k definitely these 3.9 all right so let's do some quick math 2500 plus 3900 6.4k darn nope all right no issues there uh not gonna buy a koi because of course we're gonna make the um mithril full helm so let's buy that all right horvik horvik yeah that's his name all right come on boy stop walking away from me let me get those studded pieces awesome still 1.4k so actually what i'm thinking of is when I make the helm and kite, I'll still have mithril bars left over. Whatever's left over, I can sell the shop, and maybe I'll get the 3.6k needed to get the chaps, which would be pretty cool. Let's quickly whip up those armor pieces. I also took out some of the items that I had left over that I'm just going to sell to the general store for those extra GPs. Also going to make a kite shield, yeah. Just the extra defense bonus, I definitely think it's worth it. Oh, wait, where am I going? I'm going to make some plate bodies. Just so I can chuck it to the, to Horvik and get some extra GPs out of that. Oh, I can make two plate bodies. All right, quickly just chuck these in here. Just sell all of it. Uh, 3.3k. We're going to sell these to Horvik to get the maximum amount of coins. Uh, all right, let's see. I'm, I'm actually really excited right now because this will actually give a fair bit. I'm pretty certain. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I hate walking everywhere. Uh, oh, my God gosh that's huge i don't think i'll be able to get a green dehyde body yeah i definitely won't it's okay i tried um i'm still very happy with this plan we will get the green dehyde chaps for certain then come back and make sure we cook our sharks on a range i'm not gonna make that mistake again on a fire burns extra all right let's get the chaps i'm actually really confident with this method because if he goes melee i feel like my defense stats are pretty good i'm gonna try to pull some clutch shit right now i'm gonna head on over to barbarian village and spend my last 5k on an addy 
four helm. So we had 11 sharks. I'm going to buy myself 17 potato and cheeses, which does mean a hop, I believe. Yep, yeah, cool. They're so cheap. Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and buy five then. Can't buy another one. Okay, cool. So we now have, we're going to have 15. Yeah, I don't have to buy anything else. We're going to have 15 broad bolts. Not bad at all. So as I was saying, guys, we didn't want to restrict this challenge just because we didn't have the levels to do certain things. So I've gone and bought myself a rune crossbow, but that's only because I've got the eight coal, the runeite ore, which would have been made into a bar. Then that bar would have been made into limbs. We would have connected the limbs to the use stock and the crossbow string, and we would have made it through that. So that's the only reason I've had to go ahead and buy that. Effectively, I have made one from scratch. I just didn't actually have the... Uh, the level to make one and me and Rag agreed that was the best way to do it so that we could still do our own creative ideas but uh we weren't restricted by the levels so i'm gonna go ahead and drop all of this and we're pretty good to go i'll show you the setup so there we go guys 10 minutes left to go and obviously i'm just leaving those 10 minutes because rag's gonna be cooking my sharks because again i can't cook the sharks i know shit account my hardcore is literally better than this main but obviously i don't want to be fighting rag on a hardcore because it's a hardcore. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the setup we're going with. I'm actually really happy. Uh, I just hope he hasn't gone melee. If he has, we're not in for a good ride. If he's gone mage, ooh, 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 this is going to be good. Pretty good food. Really happy with the healing food. And uh, we'll just see what Rog's got now. Still need the time to come back and cook. I, I'm pretty sure I can do it. If I didn't think I could, I wouldn't risk it. So, um, yep. Awesome. All right. Two and a half minutes left. Just going to sell the Mythful Helm real quick and then buy the Addy. Uh, still 2.8k. Really not much I can do at this point since I just have to spend the last two minutes cooking. Oh crud, am I gonna make all of it? I think I got it. Come on. No, I got it. I got it. Yep. One more to go. Only one shark burnt. There we go, guys. So this is my total gear for the fight. I'm honestly very confident. I really am. The bone crossbow is OP. It's only 2k. You pick something first then, mate. Dude, it's always the helm first. Okay. You always go with the helm first. Helm. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. No, no. Um, Cape. Oh, I don't have a cape. Damn. Oh, smart. Smart. I think I know what you're going with. <laughs> okay. All right. Body. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I know that. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll we'll go next. Uh, amulet. Oh, I don't have an amulet. Amulet of power. Power, man, <laughs> came in clutch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, shield. Shield. Ooh. Okay. Man. Oh, oh, all right. I all was right. thinking about doing it, but I didn't have enough money for the coal, so I didn't actually uh, go ahead and get it. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, Legs? See, I prefer to, to have my knees out, man. You know, that wind. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I know what's happening. Uh. This guy has a bone crossbow. <laughs> Rip it out, my dude. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> yes, boys! I'll see yes. you next one, boys. <laughs> um, you, did you get the green bad braces as well? I did, I yeah. did. I just raged before I was able to wear it. I can't, I can't even type my password <laughs> incorrectly. I'm so stressed out. Um, and I also got broad bolts with that. Oh, Kins, so cool. oh, food. This is big. This is big. Oh, oh my god, this is close. I hope I burn half of those sharks. Oh my god. Uh, yes, burnt one. Let's go, boys. Just one? So, well, I mean, I still got. Oh! Oh, <laughs> burnt another. You and did not burn. Oh, burning so many. No, you didn't. <laughs> Let's go. Burn the last one. You better one. be trolling. Burn me. the last you one. Be. Ah, okay. I'm, all right. I'm just going to let you see. You did not burn three out of what? <laughs> like eight? And I do have 99 cooking still in case anyone's oh, trying to fucking God. like claim I'm a liar. So let me add some suspense first. Potato with cheese. Oh. 
Maybe we'll do one at a time. No, we will not do one at a time. Give me one shot. <laughs> How? I don't know, man. How? Oh, that's so <laughs> But I'm shitty. super satisfied with that. As always, guys, Rog has just posted another episode. That link will be in the description. Or if you want to watch all of the playlists, click the playlist up in the top right corner. That will have Rog's new episode in it as well. So if you feel like uh, going on a binge of these episodes, this is going to be episode 13 and 14, the ones going up on my channel and Rog's at the moment. So if you've missed some of those previously, give those a click. We're about to get into this fight. Rog, um, I'm going to pot up and then you can attack me whenever you want, dude. Good luck, sir. May the best man win. GL. Or may I with the best RNG you want your fucking Bang. room cross. Yes! Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is no. great. This is great. This is what? 21! 21! <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, let's get him. What the fuck? Oh, my God. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, he's checked for a 20. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, you're hitting so hard. Oh my god. What the, the fuck? Bang, yeah, 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 yeah. Get him. Get him. Yeah, that's huge. That's oh huge. My god. Here's oh our my sound. god. Yeah, that's huge. Oh my god, a 31! Oh, shit. <laughs> come on, come on. And again, and again. Are you fucking me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bang, oh bang. Finish him. God. Finish him. No, Finish him. You can't hit 35s. Get out of here. Yes. Yes, these are massive. What is oh this my crap? god. Let's go. That's big. Fuck. <laughs> bang, gang, bang. Dead. Oh, oh wrist it. I don't know. I do not Why know. I, I thought I could have you. I went for the wrist, dude. You know, gotta do it sometimes. No, you don't. Bang. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes. Okay. Yes. Bang. Dead. What? Dead. No. No. Way. No, way. no. No way. No. Yeah. 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 Bang. Dead. 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 Come nah. on. Combo it. Nah. Fucking combo nah, it. Nah, bro. Not today, big fella. End him. Rog's going down with a fight. Come on. Combo him. Yes. Yes. Keep up the hits. Don't keep, keep up, up the, the hits. hits. Don't keep up the See, hits. See, that's the one flaw of this bow is that it's not the most accurate thing in the yeah. world. Bang. What? Bang. Bang. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Bang. Bang. Fuck. Dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, the 33. The 33. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Oh, you're out. Oh, oh yes. God. <laughs> yes. How much food did you have? I had five potatoes left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that actually oh, was a lot more intense God. than I thought. Yeah, same. I was like, I was shitting myself. That bone crossbow went hard. Oh, man. I think I maxed a 22. <laughs> you hit like a 30 fucking three on me or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm that for me, that's the best fight we've had because I think I lost the last best fight we had. <laughs> you mean, bro? <laughs> How'd you get rude? I'm so upset. <laughs> oh. The RNG swings back, dude. It swings I don't back. Know, dude. As always, guys, Rug's video is going to be in the description. Go and check that out. It has gone up the exact same time as this one. Don't forget to drop a uh, subscribe over to Rug as well if you want to keep up to date with the series. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Just a quick shout out to everyone who supports the channel. Dombio Nono, Tian, Brosa Potato, Martin Blow Goodson, TOL Riptide, Z Punishment 902Z, Jake Schultz, Hello Cassia, Alan Oldson, The Bearded Jake, Jake Campbell, Rickstar964, Jordan Thomas, and Jake Wilson.